It was a week of extremes for President Trump. First he raised his arms in victory after his attorney general laid out a summary of the Mueller report Sunday then he promptly sent his team to court to try to throw out the Affordable Care Act. Even though cries of Republicans gutting your health care were instrumental to Democrats winning the House in last year's midterm elections, there was the president touting no collusion in one breath and in the next handing the Democrats more fresh hot ammunition. On Monday evening, the Trump Justice Department notified the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals of its support for a complete invalidation of the Affordable Care Act. What is especially galling about the move is that it was apparently ordered by the White House over the objections of Attorney General William Barr, Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar and White House Counsel Pat Cipollone, marveled Stephen Vladek. If Barr cares at all about the long-term institutional credibility of the Justice Department, he should resign in protest. President Trump made an egregious political miscalculation, wrote senior CNN political commentator David Axelrod. Every American knows someone, and perhaps loves someone, with a chronic illness, Axelrod emphasized. Now Trump has ensured that the threat to people with pre-existing conditions will be front and center in yet another campaign. This certainly isn't what most Trump voters were signing up for in 2016, asserted Jamel Bowie in the New York Times. Jill Filipovic saw an immoral decision that put ego and Trump's desire to erase Barack Obama's legacy first and Americans' lives second. Make America great again? This administration wants to make us sick again, observed Filipovic, and it's no exaggeration to say that if they succeed, a great many Americans will go bankrupt, some will die. The most important arbiter of the ACA's fate should it end up back in the Supreme Court, as is likely won't be Donald Trump at all. In his analysis of Joan Biskupic's recent biography of Chief Justice John Roberts, Bloomberg Opinions' Ramesh Panuru noted that Roberts' vote to save Obamacare seven years ago suggests that he is reluctant to move against Obamacare, even when considering a case he thinks has real merit. Education Secretary Betsy Davis drew enormous public backlash after her appearance before the House Appropriations Committee on Tuesday, where she faced sharp questions over a proposed $18 million cut to the Special Olympics part of a broader 12% overall decrease in the education budget. Davis's comments to Congress showed an obvious misunderstanding of the societal benefits of programs that support individuals with special needs, wrote Steve Camarota, whose teenage son, Sam, has intellectual disabilities and whose family has participated in the Special Olympics. Two days later, hearing a loud and bipartisan outcry, President Trump announced the planned cuts would be scrapped, exulted Maria Shriver, whose mother, Eunice Kennedy Shriver, founded the Special Olympics and former Ohio governor. John Kasich Singling out Special Olympics programs that fortify inclusion for all students in public schools as a cause that unites us all, Shriver and Kasich also noted that Trump's swift response is a lesson for all Americans about what can be achieved when we come together and rise above our partisan concerns. Not everyone found such consensus with the president this week. Puerto Rico Governor Ricardo Rossello, who said he was frustrated by his inability to get a meeting with Trump about ongoing recovery issues after 2017's Hurricane Maria, had some tough talk for the president, if the bully gets close, I'll punch him in the mouth. Dot it would be a mistake to confuse courtesy with courage. The sentiment is completely understandable, empathized Raul Reyes. But just as it is a mistake to confuse courtesy with courage, it is a mistake to confuse anger with strength. Sinking to Trump's vulgar level will likely not benefit Rossello or his constituents. He urged Rossello to keep making his case for aid, instead, 